Boat Show. We're here at the Miami Strictly Sail Boat Show with J.B. Carell from Moss Epoxies. When I found out about this stuff, I got it for my boat. It's great. I'd like to tell you about it, but I think we'll let J.B. do it. J.B.? Yeah, we designed Moss Epoxies about 15 years ago. We designed it because we wanted to eliminate the amine blush, which is a waxy film that cures on the surface when epoxies cure through. So you don't have to wash and sand in between your coats. It's a lot of extra labor, and we don't want those contaminants on the surface. The resin system, we created two of them. There's a thinner resin system, which wets out the glass real well, wets into wood fibers very well, and then a heavier body called flag resin. These two are compatible. You can blend them together. This one gets used more when you're making putties and that kind of thing. We have three hardeners, slow, medium, and fast. They can be blended together, and the whole system's two to one. We have pumps for it, which we can show you, um, but it's a very simple, very straightforward system. We also have fillers. Uh, we use wood flour for gluing wood applications. We have phenolic micro balloons, which get used for fairing applications or like a body putty. We have colloidal silica, which gets used as a thixotrope. It thickens it, but it doesn't make it stronger or weaker. And then we have milled fibers. It's chopped glass. It gets used for um, structural applications. And then there was this hockey puck. Oh, the hockey puck, yeah. We control the exotherm of the resin system so it doesn't get brittle. Normally, that would have boiled over in the cup, and we don't want that happening. This is cool. This yeah. is. We control the exotherm of the resin because we don't want it to become brittle, and that's what happens when you do that. So now you see why I use this to rebuild the decks on the Lost Soul. <laughs>